Many lovers of vintage audio have heard of the brand Marantz. It would be known for high-end stereos and stuff like that. Well, I found a nice Marantz today at a thrift store. It was marked $20, but I got it for 10 plus tax because things were 50% off this day. Um, it worked whenever I got it, although I did some slight cut trying to align the tuning dial on it because it was off and so I adjusted the ver you know where the variable capacitor knob turns and then the knob that turns it with little adjustment screws it's better but it probably still has a uh, bad capacitor or who knows what might be causing it to be misaligned still because on some stations it's good but on some other stations it's not close to the right number um, maybe Max Arcade might have some pointers on what exactly causes that problem. But anyway, let's hear how this thing sounds. Okay, here's a bass control. That's loudness. Mm, all at flat, it sounds like this. Now, when we turn loudness on here, Still not much, but now let's turn up the bass. Yep. Now let's turn up the mid. And the treble. I don't know how well you can hear it with the camera being on the floor, but it's a nice stereo. And goes very loud. Also has low filter, high filter, of course loudness, muting, tape monitor for hooking a tape jet, mono, which just makes everything mono. Also has AM. Phono. Oh yeah, all, all the lights work except it's a little bit dark right there, so that one's probably blown, but all the lights work here. Um, we have AM, FM, Phono, Tape, and Aux. It's pretty cool. I was surprised and I saw how the lights worked on this, because a lot of times things are just blown out bulbs. Let's tune that. Oh yeah, there's a stereo light. Lights up red. There we go. Okay, let's see the speakers now. These speakers, um, on the way home from school one day, there were two speakers sitting out by the side of the road being thrown out. And they were these. They have vents on them too. Okay, I got a vent on one for comparison. The other one's right there. You can see how it's shaped and everything. Anyway, they're very nice. They're made by a company called Acoustic Response, it looks like. Um, audio Video Monitor Series 707, max power 125 watts. So RMS is probably half that. It's around 62.5 if I'm not mistaken. Direct Imaging System, whatever that is. You can adjust, well, it says low frequency, but I think that's the mid range, and then the high frequency is the tweeter, of course. I'm not going to adjust them because they're kind of scratchy, and I have to kind of fiddle with them to get it to come through. But there's tweeter, mid range, and ooh, surrounds are nice and in good condition. If, if, if these had bad surrounds, I wouldn't have got them. Now, the only other, the only problem though is it has some slight water damage on the bottom where it's kind of coming apart. On the top it's good, but you know, over where that is, it's it kind of peel a little bit on the bottom where it's pieces of wood go together because it probably it was stored in a shed, I would assume. Now these can go loud and look at this. Watch those. Okay, I don't know if you he's not doing much right there. Go 
goes pretty loud. Anyway, I was trying to get the showing the cones move. The nice speakers and nice Marant stereo, which is packed on the inside. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video on the Marant's model number two two three. Oh, <laughs>